Paul Approche Approche This is Paul going down there. Okay, now I'm calling down the cave and... And no one is answering. So today we, ha we have a special outing. We're going to a friend's place and they're having a baby shower. It's their sixth kid. It's a boy. So our friend lives on a small farm. They bought a large land, but they have a few animals. So our kids love animals. It's going to be cool to see their ducks. They have ducks and they have go uh, goats. So here we go. So that old rusty Jeep is going to bring us through the forest. We're going to set up the trailer in a more comfy way. Into the woods. Tenez-vous bien, hein? Whoa! Whoa, man! Is it dangerous? No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a beautiful cliff. Yeah. So how do you go down safely? Didn't think that was a crazy ride like that, but you're loving it, huh? It's uh, pretty bumpy. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Are we stuck? Oh, shit. Okay, so brakes are working. The motor went out. Oh man, we're spinning now. <laughs> the wheels are spinning. And yeah, we might as well just walk down the road. My friend, he's the one who took out the trees from this little uh, road here. That's why it's a little bumpy. He did it the old way. He didn't have large machinery. It feels like a highway in Quebec after the winter. Some in here are feeling sick. You okay? We're going to a cave now. Going in a cave. My friend, he discovered a cave on his property. It's the best ride ever, right? It's like first class. <laughs> oh man, the farmer girl. Okay, so this place here, apparently they've uncovered a cave. So that's Charles' place. It's just his, his home. There's a hidden cave with minerals or something. It might not look like it, but it's quite an adventure to come here and through the raw forest. Uh, might be that's a wolf crazy. Den. Might be a wolf den. Well, that's a real cave. Maybe show me, show me. Show me the mi show me the show me the the cave here. Light it up. Oh shoot. Oh, Who else hasn't gone that would be willing to go? Man, there's more, uh, certainly there's animals in there. There's uh, what? A, a bear or something? No. A badger. A badger? That would be a vicious big. little badger. Gosh. Yeah, it could be a skunk. Skunk? Well, it could be thousands of skunks in there. If there's any animal in there, they're going to have the, the fear of their life. Oh, man. It's a... Ah, it's a good one. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's Laura who's going to go in first? No. Laura Toi, toi, go toi, oh, yeah, yeah. Side, moi, the only thing is that we dressed for a baby shower. Now we're in the woods, like exploring caves. Is there someone there? Paul! Approche! Approche! This is Paul going down there. Gosh. Ça va? Oui. <laughs> I really hope there's not a an animal because this little boy is going to be scared to death. Man, where is he? I don't even see him anymore. Shoot. <gasps> My kid. My kid is in the cave. I can't reach for him. I'll go down. Someone to handle anything. Yeah, I can handle... I can handle... I can fight bears. You can handle a bear, so that's good. I can handle a bear, a cougar. I, I, I got a flashlight this big. So, Look at this flashlight. So you're good. You have a it's little a knife there. Look, so it you even can... works. And, I, and I've got a knife. So you're good, man. I'm set. Oh, I've got a bigger knife too. I know how to open it fast. Oh shoot! Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, some of them are in there. They're they're in the cave. I don't I don't see them anymore. Right? It's there crazy. are children down there somewhere. Are they creating? Yes, your tribe. I didn't even have space for his hat. want to go in be a cave? Don't worry. It is a cave. It's a cave. There might be a cave. It's a real cave? Yep. You, there's, a, there's some space in there? Yes. Can you stand up? Uh, not, no. No, how high is it? This high. Oh, shoot. A crazy adventure. Okay, seriously, I'm feeling a little stressed because... Because really, this is a small cave and if, if there's panic or anything, like, there are five in there now and... There's not a lot of space to come out so no one can rush out and need to go and if panic settles in. But there's an adult there. And my little boy there, he's three years old, man. <laughs> okay, now I'm calling down the cave and... And no one is answering, but I assume it's just because they're a little bit farther. They're not hearing me, so it means it's pretty deep. Pretty deep. Oh. I mean, we didn't explore everything. Okay, because it's a lot of places to go. Yeah. No signs of animal when you went? No. Except bones, he says. I don't know if he's joking. You find bones? Yep. Bones of what? Well, I don't, we don't know. It was only bones. We found a couple of bo bones. Did you get there? Like bones of bones. an animal? Bones of a what? Bones of animals, I think. <laughs> so surely something has been going on down there. They're too far down. And so we don't hear them now. If we call, they don't answer. You're going down? It's impressive. It's impressive. Okay. But there's bones. Some prey animal. But oh. it's water flowing in here. Down there is water? So, anything we find could have been brought with the water. Right. So, that's possible. Right. The sun is coming down. I hope we're going to be done with that before sunset. Because that's going to be very funny. Because I don't have a lamp. Not everyone has a lamp here. And I don't know, maybe the bear doesn't need a lamp. I don't, I don't think he needs a lamp. The bear? No, no. no, unfortunately we smell. do. He goes with smell. He goes with smell, so that's great. Because we smell. <laughs> so I got the first aid kit anyway. Oh, we got a first aid. We, got, we have a first aid kit. So that's re reassuring. Oh, my son is there, safe. Come on, say it, Paul. That's crazy. It's four. Yeah. Oh, man. Now he wants to bring back frogs. Okay, that's it. This ends our journey here at the Simple Farm and uh, we're heading back to Quebec and uh, see you guys next time. Have a good one.